Okay, we want to calculate the delta H for the following process. We have nitrogen reacting with oxygen, forming NO2. And we gave you nitrogen reacting with oxygen, give you NO. And then NO reacting with some more oxygen to finally make the NO2. So we are going to combine, I'll just call this equation 1 and equation 2, to generate equation, the overall process. All right, and I'm going to find my nitrogen, the first component. It's right there. There's a nice, just one of them. So I'm just going to use equation 1 just as it is. All right, I don't want to use the oxygen in the overall process because it's found in both equation one and two. So I'm going to actually find the NO2 instead, and I will see the NO2 right there and right there. So it's in equation two, but equation two only has one of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take equation two and multiply everything by two. So I'll be two NOs. That'll make that one oxygen rather than a half. And then we get two NO2s. All right, but this works out great because the two NOs would actually cancel when we actually combine these equations. And we're going to end up with N2, two oxygens, and the two NO2s, just like the overall process. Therefore, we can add these equations and the delta H's. So that's 105 or 180.5. I didn't do anything with equation one, so I'm not going to do anything with that value. And equation two, which was negative 57.06 kilojoules, since I doubled it, I will be doubling its value. So these two together, 180.5 plus two times negative 57.06. I drop my 6, I get positive 66, what was that, 0.38. And I can't use both those digits because that one only has that one spot, so this needs to be 66.4. That would be my answer. I like that. And units, kilojoules, got to put that in there.